I've just got back from Lidl. Um, I've done a big shop like two weeks. So I just thought I'd go through what I've got. Spent um, £100, 17 pence. But this should last us about two, two and a half weeks and there's freezer stuff in there. And I think I also bought two tins of paint um, for the bathroom, which were 6 99 each. So I don't think it's too bad, but I'll, um, I'll just show you what I've got. So I don't really know where to start because this is everything that I got. So I'm just sorting through it all and going through what needs to be washed before it's put away and taken out of its packaging and things. So I'll just start from this end. So I've got some close cut mushrooms, strawberries, lots of fruit and veg, bananas, courgettes, because I'm going to try and make some courgette -y. So I've tried to kind of meal plan as I've been as I've been going. So I got some leeks and I also got some tulips. So to go with the leeks, I got some cream of chicken soup because I've seen a recipe online where you put a tin of soup with some leeks and some um, chicken in the slow cooker to make like a chicken pot pie and then I'm going to make some pastries to go on top of that. I've got some chipolatas which we always get from Lidl. These are the gluten free ones because I have got a, a gluten intolerance and I'm lactose intolerant. Strawberries I've already said which are probably going to be used for breakfast and puddings. Chilies and a lime because I thought I'd do some chilli and lime chicken or something along those lines. A big gammon joint that was only £3 so that's probably going to be a slow cooker thing. Um, carrots, I got celery and swede as well and um, that's usually what I use for the base of anything that I make. Um, tangerines for my daughter. I got this smoked pork sausage um, because I thought that would be nice of kind of like a pasta dish. Uh, I've never tried it before so that's something new. Salad tomatoes which I use in pasta if I'm just doing tomato, garlic and a bit of olive oil. Conference pears for Theodora because she loves them. I always get these little pizzas. They're only about I think they're 51p. They're not obviously the best but for like weekends and things um, I freeze them, get one out and then I get like a little set up, like a little station with all little bits on and um, so the kids just decorate their own pizzas so that's kind of like a little fun activity for them red onions because they go in everything i've got these yogurts um i we haven't tried these ones before they're the two in one split pots and um, we normally just get the the little tiny pissy falu but they're just too small for her now she always wants two at a time um, what else have we got? So we've got some red split lentils. So I use these sometimes. I'll make um, lentil burgers, or I'll mix them in with a pasta bake that I make. Um, I do a pasta bake, like meal prep for Andy, and these are quite high in protein and they're like low in fat and they bulk you up, bulk it out. So I always put a cup of this in with the pasta. I don't really t change the taste or the texture or anything, but it's just a bit extra calories. Um, garlic and tomato flatbread because I thought that could go with one of the many pasta things that I'm planning on making. Iceberg lettuce, avocados, these are so good, they're massive. They're 99p so I do sometimes begrudge buying them when they're like a pound each. But I'd rather the ones that are kind of, it's not fully ripe but it'll be ripe like tomorrow. That'll be for me. Get down please cat. This is like the bread section which is none of mine. But we go through bread like nobody's business in this house. So we've got some brown rolls. They, they're they used for pretty much anything in our house. I've got three loaves. So I'll always have one in the cupboard, two in the freezer. And some scotch pancakes for weekends and things for Theodora. Because they're a favourite. I bought this. Oh, oops. Luckily it's only mine. It's a whole grain rye bread. Um, Now I said before I've got a gluten intolerance. I think it has still got some wheat in but it's obviously obviously it's at the very end of the ingredients here which means that it's like the lower end of the amounts so I'm gonna give it a try it doesn't give me massive you know reactions or anything it just kind of makes me bloated and gives me a bit of a sore tummy and um, so I'll give that a go probably with the avocado celery spring onions because we have them and everything I'm trying to get more veggies in so I've bought some sprouts and I'm gonna try kind of like shredding them in it's like a stir fry or something like that. Um, what else? Mushy peas because I'm the only one that likes mushy peas so I always just buy the tins. Chopped tomatoes because you've got to have chopped tomatoes in the house. Two tins of sweet corn because I just find it 
so much more convenient to buy. A tin of soup, even though nobody eats it, I always kind of panic buy when I'm in the tin section, like just in case I need something. I've got a coconut milk because I'm gonna make a Thai curry. So I've got a Thai curry paste, which I bought last time in the cupboard. So this is the full fat one. Doesn't really make any, any sound, but the reduced fat one I think stays too thin and watery. So I'm giving the full fat one a go. Um, tins of tuna. So I haven't tried this tuna before. I normally buy Prince's. But this is skipjack tuna in spring water. And it says it's like sustainably sourced and everything like that. So hopefully that'll be nice. Passata, obviously, it's like everything. I have to buy 10 of them. And then this is all like the meats that I've bought. So I bought two um, packets of chicken breasts. So that's just under 600 grams. There's four breasts in this. I've got two of them, so that'll probably do us like a week. But I have also got it in the freezer. Um, I've bought some cod fillets. We don't eat a lot of fish, really, um, other than like breaded fish. But I'm trying to steer away from that and go more like whole foody, kind of making it myself instead of the frozen, blast frozen stuff. So I've bought this and I'm thinking, I've also bought a chorizo sausage. So I'm thinking maybe I can do something cod and chorizo or I've got pesto in the cupboard to like maybe topped with pesto with a bit of homemade breadcrumbs on top. Probably just be me and Andy that have that. I don't think Thea will have it, but we'll always try and give, her, give it to her so she can try it. Um, meatballs. We used to get these meatballs. I do think they are quite fatty. That's the only thing about them. But I cook them and then drain all of the fat and then I grill them just to brown them, like to give them a bit more brown once they've been cooked in the sauce and things. And these again are gluten free. So I'm quite happy to see that a lot of the meat providers now are getting rid of all of the extra rusk and everything that they've been putting in that obviously wasn't needed. So that's making it easier for me. Got some lean diced steak. So, And then the last thing I've got is this what's cooking steamed meal quinoa jambalaya with soy so that's going to be for me that's just in case you know i get hungry and that you know, if i'm in the house and i don't really want to cook anything because i'm trying to stop myself from eating out of boredom so that's everything i got i also got a bunch of tulips down there and two tins of paint which is still in the car but that, that's like bathroom and kitchen paint so i'm planning on painting over here where it's gone a bit yellow um with the oven so yeah the, the other thing I got was these, I've had them now, but it's this um, falafel, falafel, I don't know how you say it, wrap. Now this is probably me just being naive, but I always see falafel as like a vegan thing. So, and I do like it, like it doesn't bother me that it's vegan even though I'm not vegan. Like I, I quite enjoy some of the vegan food. So I bought it thinking, right, I don't have to check it. It's probably got wheat in because it has a wrap. But again, as I said, I can kind of manage a little bit of wheat it's the it's dairy really that kind of pushes me over the edge so i just bought it and ate it in the car because i was feeling a bit squiffy after spending an hour and a half walking around the middle aisles of little looking at crap that i didn't need but um so i i mean obviously i imagine that like other vegans and people with other dietary requirements are a lot more vigilant than i am i just tend to avoid things that are obviously going to make me a bit ill like if it's got a tiny bit of milk in i'll be okay but Obviously, I wouldn't have a latte. So I got this anyway, going off on one, um, thinking that it was going to be maybe a bit of wheat, but that was it. But it's got, it had like a mint yogurt sauce kind of mayonnaise in it. So I was just reading the back and it's got eggs and milk in it. I just thought, you know, it doesn't say, I mean, obviously it doesn't say anywhere that it's suitable for vegans, but it's one of them things I think falafel you just automatically assume. So that's just me being bit of a div they say to assume it's to make an ass of you and me as they say got told that on my first day of one of my jobs once but yeah it was lovely but that's one thing that I was a bit didn't really think about but yeah now I've got to put all this away joys and then try and plan what I'm going to make for the tea tonight so I'm thinking it's Tuesday so what can we do tonight we had sausage and mash the other day, so I think I might have a go either with this, look for a few little online recipes, or I'll do the cod and chorizo maybe, but we'll see. Bye.